Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2. Visiting with Nina Donkery. She is the Technical Services Manager for National Enzyme Company. It's a pleasure to visit with you, Nina. Thank you. We're talking about digestion, something mm -hmm. that affects us all. And mm -hmm. one of the things that I would like to ask you, and the viewers would like to know, is how to choose a good digestive enzyme. Which enzymes digest which foods, for oh. example? Yes. Well, when, when you look at a digestive enzyme product, you need to look at, first of all, the, um, the activity that you're getting and make sure that you're getting one that has, that is measured in activity, not in milligram weight. Um, some of them have a, um, there'll be a blend of enzymes and there may be a milligram weight for that, but be sure that the enzymes specifically are listed in an activity so you'll know that you're getting enzymes that will actually do the job you want them to do. And some can be very concentrated, and so their milligram weight may be very low, but the activity will be there. So that another reason that you really want to look for the activity. And as far as the specific enzymes you need to look for, well, you want to look for the three big basics. First of all, in order to digest starch, right. you want a, a product that has amylase in it. Amylase is your basic starch digester. And then for protein, you want a protease, or maybe more than one protease, so that you will be sure that they can completely break down your protein. And then for fat, you will want a lipase, or maybe more than one lipase, um, that shows different um, activities to break down, completely break down fat. So those are the three big basics. And then some, um, maybe some different forms of those. But then in addition to that, you may want some specific ones. Um, for example, as we discussed earlier, mm -hmm. if you want an enzyme to break down the sugars that are found in grains or beans or some of our hard to digest right. vegetables, you may want something that has alpha-galactosidase in it. Does that um, help break down gas? Is that what that one is yes, for? Okay. Yes, that will help alleviate some of that gas. Um, if you are lactose intolerant, you will want an, an enzyme product that has lactase in it. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to make sure that you will look for that. If you have trouble with some um, sugar digestion, you may want to look for one that has invertase in it, um, which will break down sucrose or table sugar. You know, some of those more specific enzymes that will uh, address particular needs that you might have that you are aware of in your own system. If you're not, you know, if you don't know, you just know that you don't have good digestion, look for one that has several different types of, act, uh, of activities. Glucoamylase, lactase, alpha-galactosidase, invertase, um, maybe even a cellulase. Cellulase breaks down fibers mm -hmm. and that are found in, in different uh, vegetable products. Right. We don't have cellulase in our system and we don't commonly think of utilizing it because we want bulk. We want fiber in our food that sure. remains undigested so it will proceed all the way through our digestive tract so we will have healthy bowel movements, of course. But for some people, they may need a little bit of that um, cellulase to partially break open some of those cell walls to at least release some of the nutrients that are in the foods that they are eating, such as some of the bound minerals that can be found in vegetable products that we have a hard time getting to in normal digestion because we can't break that cellulose wall, that fibrous wall, on those vegetable products. So it's not enough just to eat your veggies. Sometimes you need some help with your veggies. Sometimes you do. With fiber in general, mm -hmm. correct? Exactly. So we need to get the fiber, we need to have that breakdown, and that's the cellulase? That's cellulase. And not everybody would want that, but some people might if they feel the need for some of those micronutrients that might be trapped inside, or if they have a real problem with high fibrous foods. Thank you, Nina. That's been very helpful. Thank you. And for further information, you can go to EnzymeUniversity.com.